Is it a case of familiarity breeding contentment for Porsche's range stopping Cayenne SUV? As the third generation arrives, nearly 800,000 units after the first iteration reared its shockingly ugly head in 2002. It's no longer controversial for the brand to be proud of a big, heavy vehicle that's targeted at family use as much as it is driving dynamics. But while Porsche admits to aiming for a more rounded proposition this time around, it still likes to market the Cayenne as a sporty car. So yes, the new one is more spacious within an tangibly higher quality, the interior is spacious and beautifully made and detailed, except, perhaps for the fact you can see the unused system labels hidden beneath the black panel surfaces, and the infotainment screen is large, high-tech and easy to use. The Cayenne is also, subjectively, more attractive to look upon, but it is also lighter and more powerful than ever, leading to useful improvements in performance across the lineup. Until then, the anticipated bestseller in the UK is the Cayenne S. This features a 2.9 liter B turbo petrol V6, producing up to 434 bhp and 405 pounds foot of torque. It's distinctly louder than the regular Cayenne through the exhaust, if never intrusive. As with all Cayenne, Power is channeled to all four wheels by a redeveloped 8-speed Tiptronic S automatic transmission. This has a shorter first gear to boost acceleration yet a high rate ratio in the name of efficiency. It also can change gear much quicker than before.